Hi, I'm going to give you a quick intro and tour of my home bastion setup. I've been working at Teleport for a bit. This video isn't directly sponsored by Teleport, but I wanted to create something to show you how many of our community users use Teleport to manage and maintain their home server. So why a home bastion setup? A bastion is often a device in your network that you can be used to access other devices. And you might want to put this on the public internet, but in my case, I have everything running locally and it just makes accessing of these um, smaller services and IoT devices. I have a few Raspberry Pis around the house. And then also some dashboards I have, um, such as the Unify OS and Homebridge makes accessible, um, makes it super easy. So my setup kind of looks like this. It looks a little janky, but it works. It's a Raspberry Pi 3 in a small um, case connected to a smaller um, ubiquity controller, which goes back to a, another large one in my house. There's a few other options of why you'd want to use Teleport for this. You could just use plain old SSH, but it also lacks access to internal applications and um, enrolling is a bit more difficult. Tailscale is another good option, but um, you know, since I work at Teleport, I've been using Teleport. It does provide a good UI for applications and great Kubernetes support. And I have an outline of like what's provided and um, other pros and cons. And then lastly, a quick security thing. There's been a few hacks of late. Um, NASA was hacked by a Pi in the network and a um, LinkedIn was also hacked through making a server publicly accessible. So everything that I have here all runs within my own no local network and there's no out, there's an outbound connection, but there's no inbound via another offsite. I can access it when I'm not home and I'll show you how I use this using a trusted cluster feature. So to the rest, we have um, instructions on how to set this up, but let me give you a demo of what it looks like. So one thing you can see, everything is running on .local and this requires a bit of both uh, DNS magic and um, some setup with MK cert to get the right kind of certificates. Here I have four servers, you know, I guess there's a lot for my home setup. I have a Pi time-lapse camera, um, which is set up here. I have a server called Duke, which is a 2U rack, which I use for um, testing different um, crypto test chains. And sometimes I run a CSGO server on it. And Wellington is my Kubernetes host, which I don't have connected right now, but um, I normally would. And then my applications, I have a few here. Um, this Unify dashboard links me to the Unify OS, and you can see it's accessible there on unify.teleporthome.local. And it's the same, I have Homebridge for automating my home network. And um, Synology and TP-Link is all um, set up here. Uh, activity, you know, this, I don't have any active sessions, let me go back, but it's also pretty handy because I have this full log of session recordings, um, which I need to, looks like I need to turn on and I have like an audit log of activity that's happened. My team, obviously it's just me and the user I had to create. And lastly, I do have trust to another cluster. And then this is pretty cool. This means that my teleport home.local can dial back to a teleport instance on the internet, which has been secured. So if I come here, um, I have to log in. Okay, so I logged into, this is another demo cluster I have, but you can see going through trusted clusters, I can also access all of my infrastructure. And one of the pros of this is if I do want to set this up and connect it, I can sort of do it on demand. And it also means I don't have to set up any dynamic DNS or publish my home IP anywhere, which is another um, pro. There's a few things that are sort of specific to this setup. Um, MK cert is used to obtain the certificates for, uh, here we are, star dot um, teleport home dot local. And another thing you need to do is once you set up these certificates on your Pi, you also need to export them and then add them as a trusted certificate in both the key store of whatever operating system you have. 
And then a few more information here about how I start Teleport, how I add nodes, um, how I um, do everything else. So that kind of brings me to the end. If you have any questions, please leave a comment on my blog or leave a comment on this video. Thanks for watching.